Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridgetech with another headlamp review, this time on a Sofern SP40. Now I was sent this by Sofern directly, of course they wanted me to test and review this light. They do have an Amazon store, so you can get this shipped to you quickly. Comes in this plain box, nothing on the outside of it. So let's wait no further, let's see what's on the inside of it. And looks like we have a thank you card here. They want to hear from you. Here's the user manual. Try to get the 1200 lumens on turbo. A lot of light for a headlamp. Now if you need more time to read these specs, go ahead and pause your screen. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and move on. It does come with a clip, so if you want to make it an everyday carry clip light. The USB charging cable has an 18350 tube, which I might be using that here in the test. Makes it a lot lighter. And extra set of o-rings so now let's go ahead and take a look at the headlamp look at that really nice the material here feels really nice comfortable it's got a very nice smooth feel here and it's rough on the outside here That's what it looks like with the 18650 battery on there. Machining and finish on this is excellent. Here's the charging port here. That feels really nice and tight. A lot of knurling here on the body as well as the tail cap. This does have some nice resistance to angle this, whatever level you need it on. Sorry. Style and design on this is very nice. All right, so now let's go ahead and open this up and I'll show you the battery that it comes with. We'll make sure you remove that. There's the spring on the tail. Of course, we have a Sofern 18650. 3000 milliamps on this. I've tested and reviewed these in the past. They did really well. This is an unprotected cell. Alright. Then of course, let's go ahead and remove the head of the light so you guys can see this. Spring there as well. Well greased o-rings here not too much on the threads so we'll definitely be adding some on there but there is some on the o-ring so now we're going to go ahead and put it back together and we'll go to the ui now the nice thing about this and you know unfortunately for some people may have to buy an extra battery for this if they want to use this tube you're going to need to purchase a different cell an 18350 that way you can use this as a regular clip light or an EDC 
so that'll help you there. So now let's go ahead and get started on the UI. I'm going to turn this on. Comes on here, tells you the battery level. This will turn red when it starts to get about 50%. When it's about 25%, I believe it's going to go down and start to blink as well after that. So nice neutral color on this. A little on the warmer side, if you ask me. Probably about uh, 4700 Kelvin. Now we're going to go ahead and press and hold to go through the light outputs. Goes up. Keeps going. Three levels of light. You got low, medium, and high. And then double click to get turbo. Really nice small focused hotspot on there. A little bit of bleeding here around the edges but a nice large spill especially coming off that small of a head of a light nice neutral color to that on my hand see that now if you want to lock out this light you can click this four times one two three four it'll give you a blink and that goes off so now whenever you click the button it only blinks twice and then it will not come on one two three four unlocks the light it'll come back on then again to go through those light outputs you can press and hold those or you can do it one at a time click it turn it off turn it back on it does have memory mode so that's nice Turn that off. Really easy to use on this. No special modes on this light. So really never really use strobe or SOS or anything like that. Let alone beacon. Very rarely ever use them. Alright, so let's take this outside. See how it does in the wilderness. We are out here in the darkness. I have the Sofern SP40 on my head. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on. And as you can see, I've got it turned on on the ground. It's the lowest setting. You can easily see in front of me 12 to 15 feet easily. Now, it is making the water spout faintly. That's pretty good. All right, so now we're going to go to the next level here. There's the next jump up. Doing pretty good. And really nice wide spill. That tree there is 65 feet. So it is making that tree. There's the beam on the fence. Really nice neutral white. Not quite making that tree of life, maybe faintly. There it is there, moving my head around. All right, we're gonna go to the next level. Oh, that looks good. Look at how wide this still is. <laughs> really wide on this. Nice focused hot spot out there help you give you some range there it is 65 feet to that tree there it is on the fence tree line and it is faintly faintly making that park out there not quite there and it is there on the tree as you can see moving my head so it is making it 138 feet to that tree all right looking good so now we're going to go to the next level here now i've got to double click on this to get turbo and there we go that's pretty good
There's before, after, before. Really nice wide spill. I put the hot spot there on the tree. And just to show you how wide the spill is. <laughs> this is doing really good. Yeah. Good for a headlamp. Look how wide the spill is going all the way out to the side. All the way out to that side. All the way down. Man. Impressive. Good job on this. Really surprised too. Especially for the price. Yeah. All right. Well, again, hope you enjoyed those night shots. Okay. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Excellent performance. I'm not seeing any issues. Build quality on these soul ferns have always really impressed me. Very nice quality on this. Performance is really impressive on this. Nothing's difficult to use on this light. Simple, just pushing and holding to go through those light outputs. The 18650 uh, tube on this, I'm going to leave it on there. The weight of it is not too bad, but if you want something a little smaller, it's probably going to be a little tight on this light, but it still should hold on there nicely so you can have the lighter battery if you want. But I'm going to stick with the 18650. Only want that extra run time on that. Really nice budget headlamp. These are very affordable. Now, if you are interested in this sofa and headlamp, they are selling them in their Amazon store. And I will leave a link in the description. Also, I am working on a discount code with them. And when I get that, I'll put that right next to the link itself. And you'll be able to get this quickly shipped through Amazon. Always uh, a pleasant experience with Amazon when they're shipping their products. I want to thank again Sofern for sending me this to review. It was really a wonderful experience. And that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this headlamp kit. If you did, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these budget Sofern lights again to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.